The man on the phone next to me is Maximum Max. He is an entrepreneur and a CEO. I call him Maximum Max and he likes to call me Doc. Probably because I use the word unhealthy to describe his interaction with people. Max is in a constant state of chaos and mostly with people which he only sees as roadblocks. See what I mean? He left the car without saying goodbye. But I am not offended. No, not anymore and I will tell you why. I got exposed to something called style theory. I will tell you how style theory helped me to interact better with people like Maximum Max, and how it can help you with other kinds of people in your universe. First off, style theory has been around a very long time. I have been using it as a practice leader. For over 20 years with active team members. I use style theory because it is a non-psychological vocational based model that helps people self-identify preferences toward work. This is interesting stuff. Essentially, knowing your style helps you understand your work preferences as it relates to the preferences of others. Empathy being the foundation for harmony. To understand style theory we need to take a brief fly through history. The origin of style theory goes back to ancient Greece that influenced modern researchers like the infamous Dr. Carl Jung. The Greek physicians Hippocrates and Galen uncovered the temperament of people. They studied how people respond with various stimuli in their environment. As you can see here these two Greek physicians established the basis of four broad personality style types. To better understand I have modernized these styles. The first style is inform. This style refers to the serious data-driven analytical fact check dude that you may be familiar with. Next is the transact style. This refers to the type A person you are familiar with. A very driven colleague. Buddy is on the go. The excite style is the classic ideas guy. Dude is always watchful for the entertainment value in the environment. With the connect style we have the people person. The connectors. There's always a sensitivity toward matters concerning people. With style theory you are not one-dimensional. For example, you may not self-identify as transact but on occasion it's a style you may draw from when needed. It just may be in short supply. So for example, I self-identify my primary style as being high in form. My secondary style is connect. I have a third style. It's excite but medium to low when I choose to use it. As you can see, I have a very low preference to engage that transact style within me. You can even say I am near empty, redlining, on most occasions. And when it evaporates it's usually when I am interacting with someone like Max who has a very high transact style. Do you now see where style can help me identify my potential source of conflict with my colleague Max? As it turns out, knowing style, Max and I have very different ways of operating. Let's drill down with some further comparisons. One way to see style is to look at three comparisons that many researchers have cited as indicators as sources of conflict or harmony between people. A popular comparison is physical versus people preferences. Given that I am learning about style to improve my relationship with Max, where do I stand in terms of physical versus people? If you guessed people, you are right. Max surely loves people. But let's face it. His transact style is preferential toward physical transactions than interactions with people. Another popular comparison is task versus verbal preferences. I am task oriented but often my verbal preferences takes hold. You see it's my inform mode that likes to explain things as I have done for the last four minutes. Yes, Max is an entrepreneur. He talks and sells. However, his transaction seeking preference is about task completion. Keep in mind he has other styles in play. And finally, a third comparison and perhaps the most popular among researchers is extroversion versus introversion. Is it any wonder where Max and I stand in this comparison? Okay, you guessed it. My preference is introversion and Max's is extroversion. Although extroversion and introversion comparisons are important, Max and I are in close proximity. Most people are. So we are called ambiverts. Someone like me, who is highly verbal, is considered extrovert. Someone like Max who is less verbal is considered introverted. It's a bit messed up not to mention misleading. The reason is because most people think introversion means shy and extroversion outgoing. This is not correct. 
You see, since Hippocrates and Galen extroversion and introversion has come a long way. It's why style was developed in the first place. The important thing to remember is that our style responds to the environment we're in. And that's what the ancient Greeks discovered. And now, we dance. Opa. Opa. One last note of caution when talking about style. Style is only one factor on how we respond to people or events in the workplace. There are other factors that influence us. These factors vary with each person. The difference is that style is something you are born with. And on that, you may resume dancing. Yeah.